Let's start with some shaking. So today's class will be a little different than usual in that we're going to do a set form. Many names, a couple names. Um, one name is that, oh, I won't even go there. So the name that we'll be calling it today is the 18 Harmony Qigong. And so it's a, it's a series of movements. I've sort of, there's enough variation that I've picked and chosen my favorites. And also I've chosen movements that have sort of a maximal movement. So uh, let's see what we think. So we'll start our class with some shaking, relaxing your jaw, relaxing your lower back, maybe breathing in through your nose and out your mouth with a, with a sigh. <sighs> and slow it down. Put your hands in your lower belly and close your eyes. And let your awareness just sink down into your feet. And invite your feet to merge with the floor, sending roots down deep into the heart of the earth. And also invite your tailbone to just be soft. And the top of your head, picture this thread of white light just lifting you gently up towards your soul star, which represents your highest self. Take a slow, deep breath into your hands. And a slow breath out. And another slow, gentle breath in. And a slow breath out. And turn your awareness inside your body. And notice. And then opening your eyes. Well, let's just do a little shoulder run, uh, warm up. Inhale your shoulders up towards your ears and exhale them down. Do that a couple times. And if it feels right today, inhale your shoulders up, back. So up and forward and back and down. Well, let's do the other way as well. And then take a slow breath in. Pause, and when you exhale, just drop your chin to your chest. And let the weight of your head just gently stretch out the muscles in your neck and your upper back. Then on your next inhale, gently rotate your ear toward the heavens. And relax into that stretch. And then take a breath in. And on your next exhale, gently rotate your chin toward your armpit. Remember to sink into your feet, softening your tailbone. And then bring your chin to your chest. Let's go to the other side. So I find doing these next exercise neck exercises with a breathing pattern. So what I've been doing is an inhale to four, pause to seven, and exhale to eight. So let's try that with our, our neck. So take a breath in to four, pause to seven, and on, on your exhale to eight, drop your chin down. Then on your next inhale to four, Pause to seven. And then exhale, rotating your chin toward your chest, yeah, toward your armpit. Remember to release the relax your shoulders and then opening your eyes. And float your hands up and float them down. And with our breath, inhale up. Exhale down. So we're going to begin our 18 forms in this beginning movement. We'll call the mist rising off the water. So as you inhale, glide your hips back. As you exhale, stand taller. Putting your awareness in the back of your hands as you inhale. 
and then in your palms as you exhale. Now, throughout today's class, it'll be a create your own adventure. So deciding kind of how kind of maximum of a movement, how yang of a movement feels right, or maybe how yin. So the yin version is very, it's like a breath in, take a breath out. If you're kind of just in the mood for a little bit more movement, you can right, inhale and exhale down. So another name for this movement is pulsing with chi. So as you inhale, feeling your feet rooted, just imagining pulsing the chi from the middle of your feet, your kidney one point up into your lower belly. So let's do one more of these. Then inhale your arms open, exhale, cross them as you sink in your chest. And then again, creating your own adventure, maybe gliding your hips back. And so the name for this is Open your heart and embrace the day. Taking a big breath in and exhaling when no longer serves you. Let's do two more of opening the heart, embracing the day. And then gliding back from your hips, crossing your arms. And exhale. No, exhale down. Inhale. Or if the reverse feels better for you. So again, this can be a small movement. Or as yang as feels right today. Parting clouds as you and your intention part clouds so that sunlight can reach into your heart center. Let's do one more. And then leaving one hand up, one hand down, separating your feet, shift from side to side, rainbow hands. Picture that in the palms of your hands are the ends of a rainbow, and you're just dancing with the rainbow. Just tilting that rainbow from side to side, noticing if it feels better to inhale as you tilt your rainbow or exhale. But coordinating your breath with the movement. Enjoying that stretch from your pinky toe all the way up to your pinky finger. And then taking one hand back, sort of swooping around, coming by your ear on the side. You're going to circle your arm back, do like a little loop by your ear, and go right over your hand. So take a breath in and then exhale. Now my name for this is the clouds rolling in the wind. So tap into your favorite cloud and feel that effortless effort as those clouds roll in the wind. Noticing any sensations in your hands as you roll your hands over your, your arms. Let's do one more on this side to finish it up. And then bringing your hands out as a holding oars. Glide your hips back, bring your oars out, drop your hips and roll up. And we are going into rowing the boat into the heart of the lake. So inhale, pull your arm, your rows up. Exhale, push the rows out as you then drop your hips and pull the oars. So as we row the boat to the heart of the lake, tap into that deep stillness the water, the water element of that 
that still lake and in the heart of it. And again, a row your row your own adventure. Be what maybe you're having a really gentle rowing day, or maybe you just kind of enjoying a maximum flow of a very young movement. And then roll up and swing one hand in front while the other hand swings back. So when we do this movement, right, you drop your arms as your knees bend, drop and twist. Let's try it with two different breath patterns and two different intentions. So the first intention, well, the first breath is to just ah, exhale out your mouth. Ah. This is a wonderful releasing, right? So ah. Release will no longer spare to you. Maybe even release tension and tightness between your shoulder blades. <sighs> Picture having in your hands what you just want to let go. <sighs> All right, so now we're going to do the same movement, maybe a little more slowly. Let's instead breathe on the inhale as you lift. And we're going to shift the intention to carrying the sun. So as you do this movement, it is effortless effort. Picture inhaling as you carry the sun. Just notice, I'm doing the exact same movement, but you're changing your intention. And then slow it down as two hands lift up come down. This is gazing at the moon. So the moonlight you lift up into the sky as the moonlight then shines down on the lake. And so inhaling as you lift that moon up, looking in between your hands, exhaling down, and then inhaling back up, deciding how high you want to lift your moon in the sky. How much twisting feels right. Lifting your back heel off the ground if you're twisting. And then maybe even sinking in the middle. Oh, inhale and lift. Exhale down. Well, let's do one more to each side. And put your hands down. Bring one leg back in lunge. Place, so I'll be doing your mirror image, so place your right hand on your right leg. You're going to twist just from your waist, and you're going to push your palms. This is push, turn waist, push palms, but a kind of a much more fun name is Repel the Fiery Dragon. So you're going to push, just with that inner power, push, deciding how... Deep of a lunge feels right. So as you push your palms, turn your waist, perhaps bending your back leg or straightening it. Now, what happens if you push the fiery dragon away, lean over a little, lift up your hand that was on your leg and twist, really pushing that fiery dragon away. And then Bring both feet together. And so we'll shift through the other way. So in your lunge, check that when you look over your knee, you see your toe, lifting your back heel off, placing your left hand on your left thigh. Take your breath in, and as you exhale, turn waist, push palm. It's a great movement for the wood element, which is spring coming up, and for the liver, the ball bladder. Then you can play with, if you're really repelling the fiery dragon, how much are you going to repel? So taking a breath in, pushing, 
And then maybe lifting your hand off of your thigh and twisting, leaning forward, twisting around, pushing your palms away from each other as you repel the fiery dragon. Now your hand that's in the front, soften it. Stand with your feet as wide as your shoulders over your heart. Your hand is in front of your heart. Shift your weight and turn. Now change your hands. And cloudy hands. So shift your weight. Turn at your waist. Have your hands be like clouds. One cloud in front of your heart. Another's really its shadow. And then as you shift your weight and turn, tap into that fluidity. Woo way. Effortless effort of moving clouds. So in this moment, just tap into the calming nature of these clouds moving with effortless effort through the sky. And then bringing your feet to standing and bring your left leg forward. Your back legs can be turned out a little in a staggered stance. You're going to shift your weight to your front leg as you cross your arms and then shift your weight to your back leg as you look up. So exhale as you shift forward. Inhale as you shift back, inviting your knee to go pull back over your pinky toe. So this is touch the sea, which is very yin. And look at the sky, which is very yang. So it's a balancing in yin and yang movement. Let's do one more to the side. As you come back, shift legs and then exhale down. So touch the sea. Look at the sky. Deciding how far you want to reach. Opening up your shoulders, maybe opening up your hips. Let's do one more. Now bring your front leg back. We're going to go back into that staggered stance. This time, open your wings wide. This is going to be the pigeon that opens her wings. Shift your weight to the front leg. Bring your wings in as you lift. Okay, so inhale. And exhale as you bring your wings and lift off. Again, maybe it's a little, maybe it's a small flight today, or maybe it's a large flight. Keeping your awareness in your very soft, gentle wings. So one more to the side. Come back, back, open your wings, and then lift off. The name is Flying Pigeon, spreads its wings. Let's do one more. Now we have one more movement in the staggered stance, but this time have your feet be more, more parallel. Shift your weight to the front leg as you lift off your back heel. Shift your weight to your back leg and lift up your toe. It's going to be sort of a massage for the feet. And our next movement is playing with the waves. So take a breath in. As you exhale, glide your hips back and play with that wave and then bring the wave back. So stretching out our hamstrings and our hips as we play with the waves. So exhale, sliding your hips back. And then shifting your weight forward. And then 
Inhale, pulling the waves back to you. Let's do one more this side. Bringing the front leg back and we'll start with our stance. Just enjoying that massage on our feet. Right, lifting your back heel up, rolling on your feet, lifting your front toe up. So get ready to play with those clouds with the palms of your hands. Glide your hips back as you push the waves and pull the waves. Gliding your hips back and then shifting your weight forward. Let's do two more things. And then bringing your feet together, float the backs of your hands together, and exhale down. Doing the wild goose flying overhead, lifting up on your toes. That feels right. Inhaling, floating your wings up. Softening your shoulders, softening your thumbs. Let's do two more. And then pegging your hands and light fists. Take a breath in as you punch and inhale back as you punch. So one name for this is punching with angry gaze. So you can try that. Take a breath in and as you twist from your waist. Another name for this is the dragon emerges from the sea. So how does that change the movement? So maybe the dragon comes up in a hook or maybe we even twist. So play with this as the dragon emerges from the sea. Exhaling as you plunge, or exhaling as your dragon comes out of the sea. And let's do one more to each side. And then hold on to a boulder, a small boulder in your hands. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, forward fold with your boulder. Don't let your boulder touch the ground. Now you're gonna rotate so that one elbow is gonna be leading. Lead with that elbow as you lift that boulder up. Growling bear, so take a breath in, and you're gonna growl. Grrr, as you drop your boulder down, so inhale, lift. Exhale with a grrr. Just embody your favorite bear being rooted to the earth with that strength and confidence, but also compassion. Let's do one more. Grrr. Drop your boulder for a moment and just relax your head and your neck and your shoulders. Invite the muscles of your lower back to lengthen and the backs of your hamstrings and your calves. Now pick up that boulder and we'll go to the other side. So on your next breath in, inhale, lifting that boulder up and exhale down with your best growl you got today. Grrr. I think I have a little bit better than that. Let's try again and inhale. Grrr. Releasing what no longer serves you. Grrr. And then maybe tapping into your favorite fluid there. What happens if you lift up that boulder and then just bring it down with so much gentleness and softness? And just notice how changing 
Notice how changing the tension changes how it feels. And then let's bring the ball down and roll up. And then lifting up one hand and one knee and let it go down. We'll do this with our breathing inhale up and exhale down. This is bouncing the chi ball. Now, as you lift your leg up, what happens if the other leg comes off the ground and you lift your heel up? Now, what happens if you lift? Do a few as you play with your chi ball and play with your balance. And then, what happens if you lift one arm and the opposite leg? But how does this feel? different than when we did both sides. And again, lifting up. And this is our second to last of our 18 forms. I hope you've had a good time. So let's slow it down. And with your palms facing the earth, imagine just connecting to that nourishing energy of the earth. Turn your thumbs back. Connect to the energy of the heavens. And bring your palms together over your head. And take that energy of earth, that energy of heavens, and glide it down. And bring your palms right in front of your forehead. Our upper Dantian, our consciousness center. And just bathe your consciousness with a violet light. With clear thinking. Inspiration. Calm. Now sink that energy and breathe your throat center, inviting authentic speech with kindness. Now shift your hands right above your heart center. Picture a golden light bathing your heart. open-heartedness and joy. Now turn your thumbs, fingers down. Now we're in front of our lower belly, our lower dantian, our vitality center. Picture a bright white light just infusing our lower belly with vitality. And let's do that again. So inhale, connect to the energy of the earth. Now inhale, connect to the energy of the heavens, and then bring the energy through our body. Let's do one more. And have your knuckles land right in front of your chest. Give a little rub. Bring your feet close together. Close your eyes. Turn your awareness inside your body. And just notice. And then with a little bow to your head, give gratitude for all that you have. And give gratitude for all that you are and share some of this energy we've been cultivating with someone that could use it. And thank you. <laughs> thank you.